background here. And you got Walter. Walter. Oh! I'm Walter Cronkite this morning. Because I noticed last week our... Hello? Hello? This is Walker and the team on Sunday, January 15th, 2023. Episode 128. New American. And this is the world. Better news. Reporting from Indiana. I didn't even know where we were. <laughs> Right, that's how that's how our world is right that's now. I'm not right. quite sure where yeah, we, we are. Yeah, we are anymore. I'm telling you. Let me tell you. One day you're here, one day you're there, next day it's something else. And wow. Well, well especially with you and you're cruising around, I never know where you are. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> like Jamie said to me, he goes, Is Deb here this week? And I went, I think so. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And since we're taping. But he's like, Who's who's all gonna be here? And I go, just yeah. 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 He took off. He was like, I didn't come on me. Oh, oh, I have to tell you this. I wasn't going to tell you before we got on air because, of mm-hmm. course, you know, we, we got to make, make it fun for you guys, too. So it was like five after nine. Okay. And then walk over. You need a tissue, don't you? Yeah. Hand. Keep going. So it's like five after nine, and my husband's in his room watching paint dry on the TV or whatever, golf or football or something. And um, yeah, <laughs> that's what I call it. And and I pop my head in his room because I figure I had to keep my front door locked now because it just swings open. Whatever, it doesn't. She work. used to leave it open for anybody I need to, to I need walk to, in. I need to I need to replace my front door. I digress. Different story. So I'm standing over there because I know you're going to be here soon. Cause she texted me that she was running late. Whatever. And I look into my husband. He's sitting on the couch watching paint dry. And um, he's in his BBDs, just his BBDs. And I said, um, she's on her way. Deb's going to be here any minute. And you have to walk right by the man cave from the front door to get over to here. Yeah, back over there. And you just walk right by. And he goes, yeah, so Deb doesn't pay any attention. Lo and behold, the next thing I hear is the door trying to open because normally it's just open for Deb. She just comes in. And so I go over there and I open up the door and she walks by and he quickly puts a blanket over the top of his lap. And he's like, hey, Deb. And she's like, hey, baby. Hey. He was in his BBD. I didn't even notice. Uh, yeah, see, you didn't even notice. My husband is telling me, no, Deb wouldn't know. She, he won't know. She won't. I didn't even notice. What he walked back? Oh, he had clothes in there. Yeah, he had his pants in there. They were uh, right by him. Oh, but he just didn't want to put them on. I'm not going to put them on. It's only Deb. No, she won't it, notice. It's funny because before he left, his office is over his little cave over there. It's over there. And I noticed he was putting on his jacket and he he put a long sleeve shirt on. And I thought, well, that's clever. He keeps his stuff. He must have known he was going. I thought he was going golfing. So he kept his stuff right there. So I didn't realize. Typical man. It's typical man. You know, like, let's just walk around the house in our BBDs. <laughs> Carrying our clothes. All men do this. Do all, all men do this. I swear to you, they do. Mine doesn't. He walks around upstairs. Up, upstairs. See, he walks around the house. But he walks from his room to the bathroom. He's always cold. So walking in his underwear oh. doesn't work. Well, Jamie puts his BVDs on and then his slippers. Oh, my God. He's wow. Polish, too, guys. Oh, let's go. Maybe we just got a bear. No letters. No emails. No, please send please. the letters we and the emails. I, Polish. You know, I, I I love getting I love getting creative mail. Just send yeah, it. Yeah, go ahead and tell us what your stupid husband. I'm and sure I, my my mailman would be super happy delivering you something instead of picking things up from me all the time. Either that or you know what? He would love giving something that actually had some substance. <laughs> he loves picking up your packages because yeah. it's substance. Yeah. Everything in the mail anymore and my mother, God rest her soul, I'm telling you, I get more crap mail from her than I get. I'm still getting crap mail from my mom passing. Oh, unbelievable. Forwarded to me from Brainerd, Minnesota. Yeah. My mom was a letter writer and I, I'm sort of a letter writer too and physical Handwritten letters. I'll sit down and I'll write a handwritten letter. I bet you I write more than you do. You probably do because you write thank you notes. <laughs> thank you notes. <laughs> so she does write more than I do. 
But I'll write on a hand, you know, like when they change a the packaging of something and I don't like it, if you send it to the company, actually send it to a handwritten letter or a postcard or something, not an email, actual snail mail. A snail mail. They send you back a ton of coupons. Get you to try it and they'll tell you they'll take it under consideration. Of but course they do. Pepsi, when they changed to that Q thing. Oh, yeah. I thought that was a great idea. Not so much anymore. Oh, I oh, thought it was a great idea. At the time, you thought it was a great idea? I did. I thought it was a pretty good idea. Okay. So I sent him a note saying, hey, very inventive. Mm -hmm. However, put the handle in such and such place. I didn't like it where it is. Being short, it's hard to carry. <laughs> you know, I had a little arm. So getting it, it was always bumping, right? They must have sent me at least $20 worth of coupons to get free as well as, nice, you know. And you could use them with, and, and they had no expiration dates. And uh, awesome. Yeah, and a written letter. I'm sure it was from assistant upon assistant upon assistant signing the president's name. Oh, of course, but yeah, you yeah. do get yeah. a response back, and mm -hmm. you know, so it's really cool. It's archaic way. nowadays. Nobody writes handwritten no. anything anymore. Rarely anymore. I actually I felt really bad at Christmas time this year. Now I have it in the past, like probably ten years, because I. I'm the worst. Like, I have not sent out Christmas cards. I don't either. In the last 10 years. But this last year, I thought, why the hell am I not sending out Christmas cards? Like, that's ridiculous. I need to start sending out Christmas. Did I send them out this year? No. My mom sent I, them out. And my mom, when they came in for my mom, I had them, I had them uh, written um some of the people I didn't know, because right. she only corresponds once a year with some of her friends. Right, right, right. So I had them sitting all out and everything for Mikey to, he prints well, he doesn't write well, but he prints well. Yeah. Just to send them to that person to inform them that mom had passed and, you know, yeah. and I'm sorry we couldn't let you know because we just didn't have all the records, you know. Right, well. Right. And to this day, I still can't find her address book. I have no mm. idea where she kept it. Which, and I've gone through just about 99.9%. It's boxes. that point. It's that point one percent. Right, that, that's or where you'll find it. All went the in one stuff. box that someone thought was supposed to come to the house, didn't come to the house, yeah. and ended up going someplace else. So, um, you know, the one thing that my mom did that was super cool. She didn't do many things that were super. Cool. <laughs> the one thing that my mom did that was super cool was every year at Christmas time all of us kids would get the next year's calendar with everybody's birth dates and anniversaries on it. Nice. Handwritten in. Like everybody, you know, like nice. all your brothers, all your cousins, all your, right. you know, and all of their anniversaries yeah. and yeah. everything was already written in there. Yeah. That, that was super cool. Right. Right. Now we have, you know, digital. Everything's on the phone. I'm actually starting. That was one of my years. But, new but my daughter, like she has hers in her Facebook and she doesn't go into Facebook anymore. So she has all of that. All everybody's <laughs> birthdays are in her calendar that's in Facebook and she doesn't she use doesn't Facebook, Facebook anymore. Well, I don't use Facebook that much either. I mean, unless my email sends me a notice that so somebody was on it. So I remember to go in. I don't go in. It's 99% ads. It's all yeah, ads. Yeah. And very rarely do yeah. you see. There was a girl I worked with, she's a pretty good artist, and she had cats, and she always wanted a dog. And it wasn't until her son, I think her son was allergic. Okay, yeah. So as he got, he graduated off on his own, now she has this cute dog, Bosco. Nice Huge name, thing. too. Nice name. And she has documented their life with the cats and the dogs on Facebook. Oh, sure. And I haven't seen Mary probably for 15 years. But, but I, it's fun to go fun through her photos. photos. Yeah. And to see and she what she paints and things like that and, and how Bosco has uh -huh. become gone on. So I miss that with some of the other people, especially family members, because when mom I take it in and show mom, oh here's a picture of Drew, her her mm -hmm. great grandson. Or here's a picture of Andrew, her great her great great grandson. You know, right, right, right. That sort of thing. So she would see what they were doing and how they were and everything. So I miss that because that's our photo albums. Yeah. yeah, that's our that's our here's the photo album, and you would flip through it. But yeah, now people are, are now going, they're doing it on Facebook or, or Instagram. Or Instagram, and I'm not, a, and I can't do two things at once. So yeah. it's either Facebook because my Instagram doesn't send me that many emails. It only sends me one like every week, 
and I think it's just to remind me I have one. <laughs> you probably have the notifications turned off. Yeah. And Instagram. And probably we're not yes. even going to go down that rabbit no, hole. I'm going to go down. <laughs> I don't need another rabbit hole. I get down these rabbit holes the, the days. Do you do that on a Sunday? Oh, I get on the computer and I'll... I'll start thinking of something else, and then I'll get on it, and then I'll go to because every day I do games, email, then Ravelry. That's mm. my thing. Okay, and I I, I, I do know. Ravelry. Uh, some days I'll click on everything and I'll buy a few things, and some days I'm like, no, no, and then I'll get on it th- a week later, and it's moved to the front page, and I'm like. Gee, that's really cute. Why didn't I click on that? They came out a month ago. Yeah, so I get crazy like that. I know you're not on Ravelry. No, I'm not. I'm and not I understand why I actually, yeah, I actually um, went into a designer that one of the reasons, same reason you are, she was as well. And so she took her pen and I, You know what? For about... I'd be better if I wasn't on it. For about two weeks, I was like, am I going to get patterns? And now I've been off for a couple of years, right? right? And and I'm like, I am not at a loss of patterns. No, you're not. I'm not at a loss of patterns at all. And for the most part, the designers that I really, really want. Go to your webpage. I just go to their webpage. Exactly. Or their blog or something. Because usually a lot of them are doing Or that they have it on Etsy or One of the wherever. others or someplace else. Or, yeah. I, or I go buy their book. Yeah. Like, yeah. So it's it's easy enough to... To find patterns and yep. stuff. Mm-hmm. I think when Ravelry started and over the first course of it, for someone like me when I was first starting out, it was a perfect place to go because you could pick easy. You could pick beginner. Yep, yep, and, yep, and it's it. good for that sort of thing. But as it evolved over the years and as, you know, it's a private site, they have their views, I have mine. So yep. we kind of go, you know. And the funny thing is, is when I'm on vacation, I never get on. I rare, let's because say, because you're rarely. on vacation. I rare, because like, it's not my routine. Yeah. I get up, I get dressed, I go to, go yeah. to breakfast, or so I take my toys and I go run. Well, like Tori and I used to do unplugged. Right. We used to do a week of unplugged camping. Excuse me, my signal is checking me. Oh. Um, it's a yeah. electronic thing telling me what to do. Can yeah. So, it? like, my daughter and I would do a week of unplugged, and literally, like, we would go to a campsite where we didn't have. Um, this we didn't have laptops, we didn't have pads, we didn't have computers, we didn't have cell phones, um, or even cell phone service. Did it make your? Did it really make your blood sugar go up? Yeah, it always does. The bread, carbs, to eating in general, but it'll come right back down. She had eggs, eggs and cheese and sausage. Was you had a homemade McMuffin? I did. It was. Good and the egg was nice and runny. I made I her egg. spilled it on the, on the table a little bit when I grabbed it. But I didn't That's get it okay. on my you shirt. You didn't get it on your shirt. It's fine. Tables are meant to be Give wiped off. This is. Oh, that is soft. It's really soft. This Where is a Susan that? Graver. Oh. It's a QVC. Okay. Yep. Yep. Cool. I, I decided to move up in the world now that I've lost a little bit of weight. Moving up. Is that thing making you lose weight? Uh, not this thing, but the medicine that they're giving me is making oh. me lose weight. Yeah. Yeah. I lost 14 pounds since the end of November. <laughs> and I believe me, and I went on a cruise. You know what his response was? You need to lo- go on more cruises? No. You would have lost five more if you had If you hadn't been on, on the cruise. cruise. That was the doctor's response. Not, hey, good job. The, it's the doctor. The, I thought you were going. like, Mikey said that. No, no, no the doctor, doctor said, said that. that. Yeah, the doctor said, well, you dropped 14 pounds, so we know the medicine's working. I said, yeah, and I went on a cruise. And he's like, oh, then it would have been five more pounds. Because if you hadn't gone on the cruise. And I was like, you an asshole? And And I said, Captain Obvious. Well, then he said, you should have asked him what a woman was, then maybe you would have gotten a straight answer. (laughs) Since he has all the answers. I said to him, how long am I planning on being on this? Because my sugars have totally leveled out. And and well, I thought, good. you know, is it, is it, why am I still, I mean, granted is they were pretty good before, but now that I've lost weight, do you want but, me to, should I go off and see how I do? Right. He goes, no, he says, you're on it until you lose as much weight as I want you to lose. 
And, and how much weight is that? And I sat there and at first I went, oh, okay. I said, wait, isn't this about me? I actually said that to him. And he was like, well, yeah, but you, I said, no, my body, did, I, I could never be down this big. You know, I can't be chicken legs because it just won't happen. I said, so it's just not going to work. And he's like, well, blah, 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 blah. so then did I, he say what? Another 20 pounds or another five no, pounds? No, he never or, answered it. Oh, no, just of course changed, he's not going to fucking change the subject. No, oh, yeah. So, mm -hmm. and you know, so I was like, okay. Um, he's like, well, I, I told him that I had another prescription of this sitting at home. He goes, well, you shouldn't, you should have. And I said, no, I didn't raise it when I was on. Then I got him mad because I didn't do what he told me to do. Because I said, I'm in. I said, did you really want me to get sick in Panama and go to Costa Rica and go to one of those hospitals? Because they don't even know what Manjaro is. And he's like, no, this is the point here. He's a nice guy, but he thinks he knows more than I do. And nobody knows more than I do. Well, I mean, most people know more than I do, but when it comes to this part of it, I know it because I've been through it all before. You've been dealing with it for a couple of years. For, well, yes, since 2003. And he didn't go through the first part with me. Of course not. So this is a different doctor that didn't go through when I had the bariatric problem and everything. And so he's never been through that. So he thinks he doesn't understand the inner workings. And he's one of these. If a pattern says to do knit two together, you knit two together. If you make one right, you make one left. No knit front and back. Okay, don't work. He's one of those people. Mm. Yeah, do it by the book. Mm. And I'm not one of those people. So mm. Anyway, how was your week otherwise? She's still working at home. Right? I'm still working from home. As you see behind me. Um, For like two thirds of my day. Um, I'm going to show you guys. Look, she didn't even think I used my toys, but I, I know my she toys. does. I know she does. See, I know my little one. It's the thing. Her and you penguin. know what I did? The mama penguin. Last week when I, when we were over, I said, I want a penguin and I want a hip, hip hugger. Hip, hip hugger. Tip hugger. And then she goes, Oh, okay, that's okay. So she goes in her room and I said, No, no, I want the little hook on it. I too. need the hook on it too. <laughs> she goes, eh, I want a princess. Yeah, what a princess. What a princess. You need to have you need to have a lobster class. Oh, speaking of lobster class. Okay, so I See? for the most part, our Etsy shop does not get bad reviews. We don't. Okay. It's not mine, it's hers. I'm just it's part of the flock. flock. It's a flock. It's the flock. You're the, you're part of the flock. So um my feathers shed. <laughs> You molt. <laughs> you molt every every month. You you go through molting. Uh, we don't. I I mean I'm not tuning my own horn. We just don't get bad reviews. Like it's sent out in pretty packaging. Well, you do Everybody loves that. everybody mm -hmm. loves that. You know, hand this, no blah blah yeah. blah all this stuff. Um, but I had a person, and she didn't leave me a bad review. She sent me a note. So thankfully, if you guys have any problems with anything. Um, that is sent out from our Etsy shop. Please send me a note. I will make it right. Because, um, <laughs> boy, did I ever muck this one up. Not really bad. Um, they ordered a 10-piece 10, 10 mystery Christmas set. Okay. Okay. Um, Would you do send Easter? No. No, no, no. But uh, there was a duplicate. She said, oh, so she got nine different ones. Oh, okay. And one of the same. So she she sent me an email. Thankfully, she sent me an email. And she's like, thank you. I got them. They're all super, 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 super cute. I However, love them. However, I wasn't expecting to get a duplicate. And I'm like, oh, my God. Like, but there was a couple of days in there that were, and I'm not, I, I'm not trying to make excuses no, but by no means. But I had a couple of days there. Where I had like ten orders a day, sure. and I'm working full time, sure. and I want those to get out to you the next. Right, you make them US a priority. Yes, day, and yes. they're made for the order. Um, yeah, it just totally slipped through. So I sent an email back, and I was like, "Oh my god, I'm so sorry. That just like totally slipped by me." 
I tell you what, I will send you a couple in the mail, but I don't, I, I, I obviously I won't send you that particular one, right? but I don't want to duplicate again. So can you tell me what, Which one? <laughs> what, what either what you did get or what you would like to get? Um, you know, right? And then let me know the closure you would like. So she came back. She came back and she's like, "I didn't get any this, this, or this." Um, and lobster claw would be great. So I was like, "Of course." So I sent her a couple. Oh, good. I sent her two. Okay, good. That's all you would need. Just like, hey, hey, I like. I, how do? How did I do that? I just sent her ten and. And they're not all different ones. Sometimes wow. when you send back, like if you can see if this is um, this is one size, and I really like it, but it's too big or too small, and you want to replace it with a like item, right? Right. Okay. Sometimes they take that literal like item, so they send it to you with the same the size, exact same size. No. And so then you're like, okay. So the second time I put a note in it and I said, just refunded. I'll reorder it. Well, I couldn't reorder it because they were out of stock or they weren't going to have it for another year. So I called them again. I called the return <laughs> department and you're on hold and you're talking and you're on hold. Okay. I not only got this, the, the size I returned, I got every size down the line. And then they charged me $6 each package to send back. So I called him and said, wait a minute, I know you guys, somebody was being a smart ass in the warehouse and thought, I'm just going to send that bitch every size there is because she can't figure out what size she wants. And so, because the way they did it, it, uh, it was just such a mess, but they refunded it and they ended up getting the shirt for free and so it was okay. But, you know, it's one, it's one of those things. What I really hate though is when people wear like this shirt, I wasn't sure I was going to keep it. And I put it on and I'm in the house and I told my kid, what do you think? Blah, blah, blah. I said, it's kind of expensive, but it's really soft. And he's like, no, I said, I think you should keep it. it you know, how much was it? I said, $450. Well, no, I think you should send it back. <laughs> he goes, no, I think you should send it back. I said, it wasn't $450. It was only $425. <laughs> I said it was $449. No, it wasn't. <laughs> but it's more than what I usually spend on, on shirts and things. But anyway. Okay, you so get I your shirts at the dollar store. So. No, I don't. I'm I get teasing. them on sale. I'm one of these people that goes to Kohl's and picks through. And wow. waits till the 30% coupon, and then I go through the rack. So that and if you it's get the sale one, then you get it for $5. Then I get it for $4. It makes it even better, even if it's the wrong size. Right. <laughs> because I'll just take it in. or have Mikey shrink it. And where was I going with this? I don't know. I don't know. Either. I have no clue. Some I, you squirrel sometimes so far into Narnia that I don't. I don't even see. That's why if it was live, if we could, if we have to get her internet. And my mic, Mikey said, Mikey said we should. He said maybe I. I don't think it's necessarily the internet. It's the Wi-Fi and when it's overcast. Right. Oh yeah, that probably is that. Yeah. More so than it's anything. it's it's. Right. It's not my internet because, like, all of my TVs and everything work just fine. Good. But it's my, um, yeah. and I'm just going off of Wi Fi. Yeah. See, they would tell me, they would come back on. And yeah, I know. Say, they'd be like, oh, you're oh, talking, you're talking about, about such and such, the size and sending stuff back and whatever. Anyway. Oh, and speaking of size and sending stuff back, guess what I found in the drawer? Besides those little containers I brought you this morning, I found a sweatshirt with the tag, actually, two sweatshirts. One was probably my sister's from the year 2000 from Disney. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. It's, it, it's folded. It was folded on the, on the embroidery part. And it's cracked. No, no, no. Oh, no it just won't unfold. Oh, I it, even ironed it. I even ironed it. My ego well, probably to get it in your suitcase. Or in the drawer that it's yeah. been sitting in probably for a good 20 years. And I put it on yesterday, the other day, and Mikey's like, well, now that's a collector's item. And he goes, 2000 I said, yeah. I said, we're going to take it to Disney when we go. I said, maybe they'll make us the head of the parade. Because <laughs> it's the 50th anniversary. And I said, and this was 2000 you know, for the millennium. They had the yeah. ball and Mickey and everything. So. Uh -huh. And it put us oh in the drawer for 20 God. years. 23. 23 years. I'm like, 
more than likely I bought it in 1999 before they'd even started it because it was pre, you know, and it was $64.95 back then with my discount though, because I was working at Disney back then. So, wow. yeah, I know. Talk about, and then same thing. I was cleaning out this one has me doing some stuff. So, so the way I get her to clean out portions of her house is to give her small little tasks <laughs> that make her go into that portion of her home. And then I clean it out. So I was cleaning out. I found a whole bag, a bag that I had gone to like Dollar Tree and Five Below and probably Michael's. Tchotchke. No. Pens. A tchotchke. Coloring pens. Because I love the color. So I got another whole p- package of them. So Mikey goes, where did they come box from? of pens. Yeah, well, the one I had cleaned off the one table. Where so had... your little pen holders that we got at the Tchotchke store. The oh other no, week, no, no, no! They are... are long filled. Yeah, they're overdone. They're overfull. Right. I have this big round thing that I bought at a container store, like a Lazy Susan thing, and it's in four thing, and that's stuffed, and that's still not all. <laughs> But Do they am, all work? Have you tested them all out? No, but as I'm coloring, I'm testing out. And then I actually threw away four yesterday. Mikey almost had a heart attack. Four. Four, I threw four, four. of the 400. Four so, times. Speaking, okay. <laughs> speaking of cleaning out. Uh-oh. Okay. So yesterday, my husband was like, um, because he's going on a golf trip, buddy. Oh, okay. And um, And he needs to take his... Um, golf clubs with him and so he needs to go because in Arizona he has a set uh, or have a set because he used to travel out there a lot well he had he had a set with his parents okay that was it then okay yeah so he has to he has to take them with him on the airplane oh that's so a bitch. so that's his check bag this is his golf clubs oh because he never checks a bag anyway no and he gets two free ones because he's up in front yeah so at any rate but he does need to get it down in weight. So I sarcastically said, because you can only be like 50 pounds or whatever. No, well, if he's in business class, it's going to be 70. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Oh. He's going to be, he's going to, he's like you. With the golf clubs, it is going to be right at that fucking mark. Yep. That's where it's going to be. Yep. And I said, well, if you have to drop weight in your, <laughs> in your, in your golf club bag, take out all the change. Because he's probably got. <laughs> 40 pounds and change, you know, in these Crown Royal bags that, you know. So he's got his golf bag in his man cave. And, um, you know, he's cleaning all of his clubs because they had to be pretty and everything, you know. So yeah, everything, he's taking everything out of his golf bag. I can't make this up. He probably had 10 ball markers, you know, the big big metal medallion ball markers oh because you know you're at this golf course and that ball marker is super cool and it's only 29.99 and it has you know pga whatever on it it. right i get it okay miss disney right i get it so he's probably got 10 or 12 of those big heavy metal ball markers you know where it's like a big medallion and it's just the little thing in the middle that you take out to mark the ball right but you have this big thing so he's probably got 10 or 12 of those and then to matching, he has to have 10 or 12 divot fixers that are metal with a flip switchblade out divot, you know. The newest gadget, the latest thing. He just thinks about it. He's so probably got 10 back. pounds. Right there. Either. Right there in divot fixers and ball markers. Yep. And then he's got, you know, and he's sitting here talking about buying this new bag because he doesn't want these bulging things on the side of his bag. And I'm like, well, maybe if you just take out a bunch of the shit that you got in there. Then you wouldn't have these bulging things on the side of but your bag. But have the newest and latest and greatest things. And then he's probably got 550 tees. <laughs> in varying <laughs> sizes. And some of them are naked women. <laughs> Talk about tchotchke shit. Oh my god, that and gives I'm me dying a totally new idea. I can look for golf tees when I go to these places. Is that right? And then, and then, you know, then he's got rain gloves because heaven forbid it rains, you have to have the, the kind of gloves to wear. Because you don't want your leather gloves to get, you know. Rain gloves. Right. But, and then 
And then we have big, huge monster foot joy mittens. We never know when it's going to get cold. Right. It could be cold. And then full size cans of off bug repellent. Uh, when did she get? We'll get in the little to go. So I said almost. to him, now he's been a golfer as long as I've known him. And I don't know how many golf bags he has. I, I, I wouldn't even have a clue. Tons. Right. So my the, here's my logical brain. I went, it seems to me you're carrying more shit than you actually need. Yeah. Why don't you have different golf bags for different tournaments? Seasons. Yeah. Seasons. Oh, that works. Right? Yeah. Then you're just moving your clubs from one thing. Right. You have a bag that has your summer shit. So you have you know, the right. bug repellent and regular gloves sure. and some wind, you know, and some windbreaker gloves. And then you have the, the cold weather one where you have the hot fingers. Cause although that we got right. hot finger things and mittens and I am just like all in one, gotta have it all in one. Cause heaven forbid, you know, and then umbrellas and, and heaters for the golf cart and, where is he going to play golf at? But it can get cold at this time of year. <laughs> See, so you have to head up for, and pour my game. I'm, I'm, like, I'm, I'm like, this, yeah. is, this is your tchotchke world. This, this, is, this <laughs> is your tchotchke world. You have hey, been. it's Sunday. We're taping. Tell me when you're done. Okay. That was Bye. Bye. <laughs> he can't remember anything. I'm so I, I, was, I was just dying. I was dying with Jamie. I was dying laughing. I'm like, you know what? This is your world. You, you do yeah, but your when thing. she travels with me, right, she comes with this carry-on bag, and she, she has a clean shirt for every day, and she has pants and everything, but I'm a spiller, and she's a standard size, and she just like, well, well, I'm the same size as you. Yeah, you are. I, yeah, I am. Well, your legs are skinnier. So. My legs are skinnier, but I'm wearing the same size pants. <laughs> you just like them fluffy. Well, I, they don't fit around my middle if I don't wear them fluffy. Yeah, I have that same problem. Yeah, yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah. Mine is my fat left knee. That's my biggest issue, too, is I got to get them bigger for the left knee. Yeah. They, they're too big at the waist, too big at the hips, but they fit the left knee. So yeah. I'm okay there. So anyway, that was my stupid sister. She forgets. Your sister's not stupid. She's just excited to talk to you. No. She's not. I was just sitting there thinking, though, the other day, and it came back to me when she called. Because I was telling Mikey, I said, I don't understand how stuff I do all the time, when I suddenly go to do it, I have to stop and think about it. Okay? Like, picking up, I'm doing helical and moving this to the other side. Right. Mm. Um, how I have those in the little baggies, so you don't have to worry about them. Well, I do have them in little baggies, but I never thought about that. Oh. See, then it didn't cross over. Mm. I kept thinking, what's a better way to do it? But I didn't do it. That Put way. each one in an individual little bag. I could probably do that. I'll do that. I have a little snack size one. That's okay. No, no problem. Anyway, so I was thinking. I told them. I said, you know, when we travel, Gail is the forgetful one. She can't find anything. She puts stuff down. She can't remember where she put it. She doesn't remember which way to go in the ship to get to somewhere. But yet, I know exactly where we are, what we're doing, when we need to be there, all of that, right? Because I'm on the ship. Usually, you get disorientation when you're not at home. I get disoriented at home. And I, I think, see, to me, that I think that has to do with I don't want to say caring, but right. but you care. You care when you're you pay attention more when you're on when when well, you're at I'm home. Not, right. When you're at home, you don't give a shit, right? Because it's home. Because you're home, and so who yeah, gives I can a flying hoot nanny. When right. you're on a ship, you have to pay attention, right? It's like you're cognitively paying attention. Oh, I'm on the port side of the ship. I need I'm to on the outside. Out. Right. When I step out of my room, I have to take. A left, left turn to get to the Starbucks or right, the coffee whatever, shop or whatever. whatever. Yeah. 
I can take a right and I can get, but I have to go a lot Walk. farther. Right. Yeah, I think you're, you're you just are paying more attention aware. more probably to your surroundings right. there than at home. Right, because I noticed that like this morning, oversleeping. I, got... I don't think it has anything to do with your age. I think it just has to do with like literally paying attention more. I just think that brain barrier is just kind of building up and it ain't jumping over like it was supposed to before. <laughs> you know, it's just jumping over and, and making sense. So there's certain times that I wonder. When you weren't cruising that much, when you weren't cruising the amount that you're cruising now. You think it's because I'm cruising too much? No, I didn't say that. But when you weren't cruising that much, did the same thing happen to you at home? No, but I was younger. Just stop thinking about it with age. <laughs> I'm just talking about you're putting yourself into into strange places more. Where I need to pay attention where you need to, to my pay environment. Attention more to your environment right. now than you did then, right? right? Because you were going to work and you come home. Right. I, once, I, a year, yeah. once a year, you would go on vacation or twice a year, you would take a little... Or eight times a year, I'd go to Disney. Right. But you were still, you were going to a... Some place that I knew. you were new. Right. You knew. Right. It was right. familiar. Right. Like, when I went to Disney, I just followed you around, because right. I, like... You have no way of knowing. I've been there once, 10 years ago, 14 years ago. Years. Like, I'm just going to follow Deb around like a little puppy, because it's not my surroundings. Yeah. Like, I, you know... Maybe we'll go back in May. We should go back. We had a good time. Good it was time. fun. So, I think we should go to Dolly World. I think so too. I say we do that versus that Disney. Like we don't Gatton need to Murph? give. Is we don't need Gatton to give Murph? Disney any money. No, isn't that? Like, isn't that like at Gatlinburg? Yeah, like Colin and like uh, Carly's. They went over New Year's, and she said she was telling everything how they rode the gondolas yeah. and everything. Yeah, I just think that would really be cool. Oh, you can do the gondolas. I'll wait down low for you. <laughs> I won't do it. Uh -uh. Mm. You, I wouldn't do the roller coaster on the ship, much less do it, uh, you know, on the yeah. ground. I mean, I won't do them on the ground, and I wouldn't do it. On, I did go up there, though. The one that they pedal on the one ship, the older ones they pedal, that I could probably do because mm. it's not too fast. I can slow it down and stop it if I have to and go backwards. It's not the speed for me. It's the height for me. Yeah, because you have vertigo. Yeah, I get yeah. vertigo. I yeah, I don't have any problem it. going up to the top deck of the ship and looking right out over the edge. I can do that. Yeah. But yet, when we go to the top of the Sears Tower and that glass enclosure, you know, that plexiglass enclosure they have at the top of the Sears Tower, or Willis Tower, whatever yeah. it's called now, you can go all the way up to the top and they have these square boxes. They're pegged. This thick flexi glass stuff, and you yeah. can walk out like you're standing over the city of Chicago. Okay, yeah, no, can't do that. No, no, mm -hmm. couldn't they do, do that. that. There's a thing in the Grand Canyon like that too, where it's a walkout bridge. Mm, couldn't do that. Uh -uh. But when we went years ago, floor, when we no. were at the um, you could go outside at the uh, World Trade Center, and I was outside. I did that right up to the, yeah, to the edge. Right to the edge. I did that, and it was you know, and I had and no trouble towers. whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah, I did that as yeah. like a third grader. Yeah. I think I was in like third grade. Yeah, and you go right to the right to the right edge. to the edge. Yeah, right to the edge. No plexiglass, just a rail. There was no there was no plexiglass when I was there. I know maybe that was a different one. But there was railing. You could go outside. Just like when we were kids, my mom used to take us out to O'Hare and we'd go to the observation desk to watch planes come in and out. Uh-huh. Because my uncle worked for an uh, uh uh, an airplane company, Boeing and stuff. So he, she would take us out there and we would pretend that was his jet. She'd be like, I think that's your Uncle Ben's jet. Oh, let's watch it, you know? And we were all excited and you were outside and all this fume and everything. And here we are today, still alive. Can you imagine? I'm still alive after being exposed to all of that stuff. It's amazing. Well, I can't remember who it was I was talking to. At any rate, maybe it wasn't me. I don't no, think it was me. About going to the restaurant. At the airport. That wasn't you, was it? Mm -mm. So I grew up in Rochester where I spent a good majority of my growing up in Rochester, Minnesota. And the airport there is relatively small, but it's also caters to the Mayo Clinic and to the rich and elite. Right. Right. So it's a decent 
small airport. Right. And the the main terminal, you know, where Delta and, and American, American and that sort of thing come into um, is right next to where the small private jets come into you know the small okay. airport right so the airports executive are right likewise. yeah the yeah. executive so the the two main airports for rochester minnesota are side by side and there was a i think it was called the aviator it was a Makes restaurant sense. it was a restaurant in the terminal yeah, that you, you could, could just walk right you in. could just walk right in like this was okay. free yeah. you know all this and we used to go out there have dinner, watch the plane, like a couple times a year, because it was like a fancy place to go to. Um, Sasquatch. There's a sighting, but you can't see. There, there it is. is, right around the corner. Um, yeah, and we used to go out there, and I think they, I think it was there that they used to have like all you can eat prime rib. Nice. And then Sundays, I think, was all you can eat pancakes. Something like that. Yeah. I something just, good. It was the greatest place to go to because you could. And of course, they had all the windows. So you could watch the executive planes come in. You could watch the terminals. Everything was going on. You could watch everything that was happening. That would be so cool. Yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah, we didn't get to go there very often, but well, they're getting skimpier on the other side of the airport. Um, unless it's just you know, the, for a while there, you could get that was like you know like a five star restaurant. That was a that's amazing. That was a. You know, oh, it was a Ruth Chris or a. When we would go to the airport, we always we would stop at the closest McDonald's, and we all oh, got to the airport. I, I, when we would go and watch the planes, when we be that was our big treat. We'd always oh. go to Grandma's. Grandma and Mom would take us out to the airport, which was only about twenty minutes back in because there wasn't that much traffic. So we'd go to the airport, free parking, of course, because it was you know sixty years ago plus yeah. sixty five years ago. And we go to the airport. That was, they had invented cars there? Yeah. <laughs> Smack the shit out of her, I'm telling you. Then we would go to McDonald's <coughs> or to a hot dog place. And we'd all get our own bag of fries. Oh. That was the biggest thing of all because the little kids had to share fries. My brother, the oldest brother, got his own, own fries, fries, right? And at the end of the semester, we would always, that was our big treat, because we would go and get our own hamburger and, and our own, own fries. fries and a little bag of fries. And it was so exciting because you'd hang on to that little bag forever. You know, and you have one that was colder than crap, right? Because it's two and a half weeks old and it's still sitting in that bag. And your brother would come in and steal it, would want to steal it. And he'd be searching the room looking for your two french fries that you saved. Because you're gonna have it because one day you may need it when the apocalypse comes. <laughs> I don't know how many little bags Nuggets of no, no little bags. I, I kept the bags because I thought I could use them for something. I thought they were great bags. I wanted my mom to pack my sandwich in my McDonald's fry bags because then everybody would know we had gone to McDonald's. Oh my god. Yeah, that's how things are. well, McDonald's was, you know, when they first started. <laughs> And yes, I remember <coughs> when they first started. And the one we had in Park Forest, there were only men working there. And it was, you had to eat in the car. It was amazing. It was so different, you know. And you had the little guy walking in. Did the, you have a car hop at McDonald's? In the beginning. In the beginning? There in the was beginning, car hops? There were car hops nice. in the beginning. Yeah. I think they should go back to that. Because their drive through suck, let me tell you. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> so, I guess we should get to some topic that has it's, relation with this. With knitting? Yeah. Well, we got to get to our 10%. <laughs> our 10% time. I actually started something this week, but you I'm did? giving it up. I'm going to give it up. You're giving it up. Yeah. Oh, this is what is I that started. Is Um, No. I think I got this at at Michael's on Loops sale. Okay. Okay. See this? Kind of hard to see. Kind of hard to see. Those are size 10 flexi flip. Wow. Okay. Y'all, I didn't know they made them that big. Yeah, they do. Size 10. Flexi size 10. Flip. They're extra large because they're longer. Um, and I'm trying to make bulky mittens. Not working too good. This is the thumb. 
Yeah, that's too big. <laughs> and I'm that's way too big. On this pattern. And all the patterns kind of make the thumb very big. Okay? This is seven stitches. No. I don't think I need to go down to do it. But this took me, this part here took me two hours. Because I'm not used to going from the teeny tiny to these big. As big much monkers. as they're big, okay, you still... While you're working and with you're, them. And you're so tight. I am not. See, and she's trying to get the... But then when you go to knit, right? This is, you have this team, this little bit of room with these big fat needles. So it's going to take some work to get going on this. I may have to write my own pattern. But I, I did work on that one afternoon. And I'm not sure... But I did my yarn. You're not up. you're not digging the outcome of that. So I get it. Yeah. Just you know It'll what? Be something I'm gonna I'm gonna finish one so I can kind of get an idea. But look what I bought at Hobby Lobby to make a missile bird. Wow. Isn't that great? Those are some bright colors, guys. And they were three forty nine a skein. And they were on sale for thirty percent off. So just think you get a muscle wow. bird for less than five dollars. And um these it's this cozy. is yarn B, cozy toes. Yeah. Um. They had lots of pretty colors, but I thought those were kind of pretty slick because I had some fingering yarn. Holy crap! Plastic on a crapper. That's crack, crack, crapper. Crap, crap. <laughs> cracker. Ninety-three percent acrylic and seven percent polyester, so it does have a little stretchy yeah. stretch to it. A little bit. So it. Could and be obviously, it's acrylic and yeah. polyester, so it's going to wear well, really well. Right. And you use a size two, and I use a three, three, or usually four, or yeah. four. Mm -hmm. so, so she's ballistically tight knitter. And I have, I have some mini, some colors left over from other projects that I'm going to sleep in so that you can get two sides of the Musselberg. And so for a Musselberg, I get five dollars. Five dollar IP. No more than five dollar IP. Five dollar for everything. No more five dollar. No, you want to No more five dollar. Only five dollar. <laughs> So that was my other thing. I like that. That's those are Isn't cute. Fun. Yeah, I think this is going to be a good yarn to work with and something to. This could be like my, your like you my to go project. Yeah, like my sitting yeah, project. Yeah, the go project. Whatever. You guys like my teal. Cheaters, I like them. The teal cheaters. These are dollar store cheaters. Dollar twenty five. Dollar and a quarter. Dollar and a quarter. She's, cheaters. There's no expense for her eyes. Yeah, you no know, right. <laughs> right on it. She might have to go up magnification. If she I, you know what? Get, oh, her and I were there, and I'm like, oh, cheaters. I can get more cheaters. I only had three pairs. So, you know, you got to have more. And I'm like, oh. And she's like, what? What's what? Um, I can't pick it up. That prescription. And I go, 1.25. And she's like, oh. And she hands me a pair of pink ones, and I put them on, and we both looked and went, no. No, they look bad. But they look really good. bad, but these are, these look cool. I was these like, are these, these are good. I spare no expense. She does. Dollar twenty five. I will get myself another pair of cheaters. She will. So I can have them in, you know, every place that I am. Cause Oh I know. My sister's like that too. Between her cheaters and her chapstick. Oh yeah. And I, don't have to... I carry extra chapstick. Lotion. Because... I'm that I'm kind of that way with lotion. Oh really? And one of the guys at my office, the one of the receiving guys, he goes, he walks up to me um, on Friday. He hands me her lotion that was on my desk from before, and he found. Well, he brought it over. He found it in a box. He's like, "Here's your lotion." <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I carry extra chapstick for Gail because she's always using. She's always losing it. Yeah. And cheaters, I haven't started because she usually has more than enough. She has of. six pairs with her. Usually, on yeah. The cruise. Yeah. Because you can't always yeah. get them. But I did tell my, my doctor, I said, I said, don't bring on the cruise ships. I said, they at least had mirror wash. And he goes, well, if they're going to have one, that would be a good one to have. Because I had to take a little bit of mirror wax on the cruise. Oh. <laughs> to get things moving. Moving along. So, anyway. Oh, and I said last week, I told you guys that I was started, that I started a helical. So this is my helical. Okay. With my little pit plugger. This is made, you can't really tell the colors too much, but it's more, it's got like a purple. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll hold these up for you guys to see. So this is lime green, this one here. Mm -hmm. This is like fuchsia purple. My violet, yeah. 
a light orange. hunter orange. Yeah. And coral. Coral. They and don't then, they don't show very nicely there no. on screen, but if it, this and the variegated uh, from my painted bricks and the Franklin from my painted bricks, this is a three. And so this is my little helical one that I was going round and round and round about. Yeah. And it took me a couple of days to decide. I thought this next section, I might do two rows of every color. But then it really wouldn't look like a helical like this. You can't do two rows. You have to just. Right, I know, but then yeah. I would have to change colors every time, and then about <coughs> half over three. But then I thought, nope, <coughs> stick with the helical because it really is kind of cute if you look at it. I think it's turning out, and it goes pretty quick, quicker than you think once you get a rhythm with moving it over. When you finish this, like now, I've got the green, and when I get to here, before I even start this, pick up the uh, the orange. Before I even pick up the orange, I knit the last stitch. I take this one and move it over and slide this and get them all separate because otherwise you're crossing. We were watching a movie last night and I forgot to do that. And I was halfway around <laughs> with the color. So then I had to take it out. And then taking it out when you change colors is not a good place to take out. You, I know. Lose, you lose your, your dimension. But I think it's turning out pretty good. You really can't tell too much. No. Um, when it comes to my with my changing of colors and things, it's really not. I've done a little bit better on this one than I did the last one, so I got a few that you got to fix. But every once and in a while, and I think once you once it's on my head, you'll finished never know. And yeah, yeah. And then since painted bricks had like ten different colors, I was going to use a different set, but I decided to stick with the same color just to get yeah. it, you know keep it for it. keep, keep it, it the same. kind of uniform. If it's really easy, there's quite a few um tutorials this one is 132 i think yeah 132 stitches um it's like a size three or something and um otherwise it's just by a four you have to make vanilla sure, beanie yeah it's just a regular beanie type yeah thing. just a vanilla beanie yeah and and you're saying divisible by four because she's using I four using colors. I four colors. If make you want it to be three colors, you'd have to make sure, like 99 stitches. You wouldn't do 97. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be divisible no. by. It's it, just a little easier. It doesn't even matter because you could do at 30, 30, and, and 37. 37. You're never going to know the difference. Yeah, you're not going to know the difference. You're not going to know the difference. No, you're never going to know. Um, I just, I think you wouldn't want to have it at 10, 10, and, and 87. No, because you, you want to have them right as equally and, distance right. apart as, as you And can. when you you get the first time, you actually take one color and, and go twice. And it's going to sound confusing if you haven't done it. Bear with it, it will turn out. Just follow the instructions, <clears throat> drop the yarn, don't wrap the yarn. And just keep going, and you'll have a wonderful helical little hat. That's what I'm I I personally liked um, the instruction for helical from Very Pink Knits. I think that's the one I used. Very, Very Pink, Pink Knits, Knits is, I think, the one that I, I watched a couple of, but yeah. I think hers was. I think hers was the one that was most direct and kind of told me the same thing. Yeah. Um, and if you want to, if you practice it, the one. The one um, blog that I read about it, she says, if you want to practice first, do not practice with fingering yarn. Practice mm -hmm. with worsted. Yeah. And with bigger worsted. needles and fill the 16 inch and then practice that way if you're going to practice because you'll get a much better sense of what you're doing. Yeah, than and the you color will, change. Right. Then you will like. with just going with the fingering yarn and i think that's part of the problem that i'm having with the with the um, flexi flips mm. is because i'm doing a three and then i'm doing ten and these are very awkward to go from a tiny stick, a big stick. well and you don't have like your small little six inch circulars don't go up to that big of a needle do they um my little itty bitty ones they do so you could go. So I that, could, however, that's um, just as awkward. It is. Yeah. It's just as awkward. Part of the problem is, is that when Chai Gu came up with the shorties, yeah, Chai Gu has those little shorties, the two and the three inch. When you get over a size not eight, the nine, ten, ten and a half, and eleven, they have a new set. 
they're only three inch and they should be two inch right because that extra inch is enough that you are stretching the entire yarn yep, 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 around yep. it so it is faster and it's a little easier to do because you're just going round and round okay so it's yeah. a little bit easier but your stitches are really are they're, stretched they're out stretched, yeah and it's just not a good way to to do it because i tried it thinking oh this will work because they give you a little five inch nice little five inch um yeah but then you went from whatever to 11 inches if, if it's a five inch um yeah and then, cable, you, and then you have two three inch right then you're you're going to you're 11, 11 inches. inches so that's not in no way you know no matter what right so you'd have to do this really, you know, much smaller. So I'm going to work on it and see what I Maybe can come up with. Maybe use double points. Yeah, I can use double points. Might be easier. Or magic loop. Like you don't like magic loop. I have trouble with magic loop. I try so hard. I took it on vacation. And, well, oh, it'll be relaxed. Double points with tip huggers. Oh yeah, that would work. Then I'd have. Then I would be thinking not. Yeah. Speaking of, speaking of, we had, you know, that's how we segue into these things. Mm -hmm. They're amazing. Double points with tip huggers. I made you guys rainbow packs. Actually, the product finally came in. I had it in mind for the longest time, but purple, red, pink, light pink, yellow, green, light blue, and medium blue. Really cute. You can have them with, with lobster class on them or not. Yeah, I'm a princess. I like the lobster. Wow. I finally got those. I finally got the product in so that I could get it up. See, you're having supply chain issues as well. <clears throat> I am. Just like a lot of places are anymore. Well, you know, we we deal with it. <laughs> we deal with it. <laughs> you know, kind of like at my work, we have three off-site warehouses now because you over-purchase knowing that you're going to have a hard time getting it. So you have to have some place to put it. And you do finally get it. I just, the logistics of what those guys have to go through to find shit. I don't have to do that at, at, at my work. I have to do that with me here. I'm going to have to send this back. It's making me look booby. <laughs> it's getting booby. Is so, she still working on orgasm here? I, yeah, I haven't even gotten to the next color, y'all. Like, it's the same thing. It's this is all right, but it's same, good. Same thing that you guys have seen. Like, but I'm almost to the next color. She's good. We're getting there. <sighs> to green. To green. To go with maybe, maybe want to get green. <gasps> Look at this. I'll put the little turtle on there. I think you should. When I get to the green. You need the turtle. He's up on our in our shop too. He's in the Those education. are the two latest. And great. There there was several that were put up this this week, I think. Wasn't there? Was there several that I put up this week? Maybe not. Maybe it was just those two. No, I think it's just those two, didn't you? Or was there one other? Oh you I don't know, my brain is just You put the chicken up and that went. I found a chicken. I thought my chickens were all gone and I was going through some stuff and I found a chicken. And so he was resurrected from the, the she. sold out. She was resurrected from the sold out uh, section. section. Um, but somebody snagged her up right away. So she's cute. Yeah, she's totally cute. I mean, I, the cute turtle girl. is super cute too. Yeah, he's really sweet. I did not name the turtle. Mm. I know. Send in your suggestions. T Tony the turtle. Mm. It's Tony the tiger. That's Tony the tiger. Tyler? No. What? What's, what's the dude's name in Finding Nemo? Finn. Dude, dude, <laughs> that's what I like. I thought of the little dude, yeah, the little guy. The I little, don't remember, I haven't watched it. What's the little guy's name in Finding Nemo? The little turtle, you know, where they're swimming in the yeah, in the, not the big guy, not the big not, guy's floating on his back, going, dude. dude, no, like the little one, the whatever little, you're smoking. I want, dude, it's hot, man. No, he's just floating yeah. along in that. Yeah, uh, you just, know, yeah, he's the like jet stream or water stream. He and Snoop Dogg are like. We didn't talk about Snoop for a while. Him and Snoop. Snoop, where are you? Maybe Dang. we should call him Snoop. <gasps> Snoop. 
But Snoop moves like a turtle too. He's very kind of lackadaisical when he's going across the Snoop beach. Snoop the turtle. Snoop turtle. There you go. The Snoop. Snoop. The Snoop. Snoop turtle. Snoop. 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 I can't think of his name. The little, the little. I can't even. I can only remember part. Dory. Nemo. I don't even know what Dad's name is. My brain's not functioning. Yeah. I haven't, but I do speak well. Yeah, you do. And turtle. I did have this out for a minute. Oh, I want to see how far you gotten. I, I, I think I made it around one more time. Oh, well, one if you did one row a week, that would be amazing. It's getting to the point that it's going to take you a week to go around it. Look at this. Maybe I got around it once. I'm it's not, beautiful. Not quite sure. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. You're now. You're gonna need a stitch marker. You're gonna need a progress keeper. Yeah, I don't even know. Wait. Like, but yeah. So here you got a sticker thing sticking out. Put a needle on. Put a C on it so it doesn't unravel. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> I love her. Let's see how big. How big are we? <gasps> Isn't that great? Isn't that beautiful? You can't really tell the pretty colors, but it's a pretty pink. You know, I bet you'll finish this, and Jamie can use this before I finish the quilt. No, this is going on my bed. Oh, Are you sure? Yeah. Jamie might be able to use it, though, because I'm not going to finish that quilt. I have a thing. I think I believe that it's going to break. break. Oh, there's a siding. Yeah. I think it's supposed to end because it's coming out. He's coming out. It's coming out. He's coming out. <laughs> He's shaking his head. <laughs> it's a good thing he loves her because otherwise I wouldn't be here every Sunday. We'd be off in some hole He's somewhere just hiding. Cracking up. He's just cracking up. Like, <laughs> we're still going. What the hell? What They're like the Energizer bunnies or something. Only today. Only here. Never at home. But uh, like, I am doing pretty good because I'll do a. I'm concentrating for half an hour on like the cleanup. And I know it's not a lot of progress, but if I go downstairs, like down by my pens and I'm looking, I clean them up and I work on it for half an hour. Yeah. And then I'm done with that section. And yesterday when I went over and worked on the project for us, which you'll find out by some point, but you can't know now. <laughs> um, I came back and I spent a half an hour working and cleaning up after I figured out what I wanted, kind of wanted I need to get her input on that part of it. He just one part. I'm doing the other part. It's going to be really cool. But just go ahead and forget. Like, you never Just heard. forget she even said anything. Because it'll take so long to get to. It'll take us a hot minute. Because we have to stay focused. <laughs> she has to stay focused. Like, I don't. But, see, I just give her little tasks. That's what I told her. I'm like... Because I know you're a squirrel, I I can't dangle an acorn in front of you. I have to dangle the seed. Like I have, I have to just implant in your brain that there could potentially be a seed out there, so that she'll go out there and find the seed. Well, you know, it, but it, my husband last night we were watching a movie. He actually sat down and watched the movie. We we're watching Mission Impossible. Fallout. Mm. Good movie. I like Mission Impossible. Not a big Tom Cruise fan, but eh, he plays it okay. He plays Ethan mm -hmm. Hawke. Yeah. Anyway, I we were sitting there, and I was first I was coloring, and then I set my coloring book down, and then I picked up this coloring thing, and I was coloring on that, and then I went over and I got my knitting, and I had my butt in his face, and I said, hang on, I'm just getting my knitting. So I was knitting on this, and then I put some stuff in the bag, and he's like, you really do have a nest. And and I said, yeah. I said, but I'm like just every other squirrel out there. I forget where I put it and which nest it's in. Because <laughs> on the corner, there's another nest of other stuff. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine how I'm going to be? I'm never going to be able to downsize. Someday, maybe. Anyway. So in her note. in her quest of 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 tackling this little project that I've given her. She has started going through things in her house. 
And I came up with some stuff. Uh-huh. I found stuff. I found a whole bag of pens, great pens. Mm-hmm. I found some little plastic She even things. threw four pens away. I even threw four. Yeah, four. Four. I, I had palpitations afterwards. I was going to go get them to see if maybe I might be able to revive them. But I thought, <laughs> no, no. They're just standard colors. There was a red, there was a yellow, there was an orange, and just a basic orange, and a black. So I thought, nope. Those are standard. I Did you say a little word? Did I con- in, in in memorial? No? Yeah. Um, Mikey probably will do that when he throws the bag out. He'll he'll, he'll reference that I'm sure because he's like, "Are you all right?" <laughs> and this funny look on my face because he came in just as I was throwing away. I said, "Yeah, I threw four pins away." Oh, you you'll make it. It'll be all right. <laughs> it'll be it'll be okay. They make more. It's kind of like Doritos. They'll make more for you if you need them. I like Doritos. <laughs> Man, my sweat is crazy. Can you imagine me as your critical care nurse? <laughs> yes. Never a dull moment. Never. I would love to have you as my critical care nurse. When I worked with Disney, we had to learn this phrase, this like mission statement yeah. thing. And I had to do it on, I don't know, coming up. And I had this lady that we had sedated. And I I repeated it over and over when I was in with her. Right. Taking care of her. And I was constantly saying it. She was sedated. So so she didn't, you know. She she, didn't get annoyed by you saying the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. Well, I learned a couple months later (laughs) that she kept saying that she wanted to go to something about disney she just wanted to go to disney (laughs) so i guess they really do hear you when you're talking in their rooms because ta-da she really 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 wanted wanted to go to to disney Disney. Uh oh did we break it apart it's crochet i know that's one thing about crochet that is far better than any knitting thing if you, you lose if a you, stitch, drop a stitch. If you you don't even back, know that you did. Don't that, even know. You don't even know. Like it's still it's still just there. It's it's amazing. You don't have to worry about it going all the way down. You know, nope, it's not gonna run all the That's way down. That's the best part yeah, of nope. it all, I think, out of anything. Yeah. And on that note, we will leave you be so yeah. that you can all get to the football games because the wild cards play today. I only know the 49ers one. I didn't stay up and finish watching the Jaguars and the Chargers. And the and the and Jaguars are doing pretty good. Even I, one of those teams are my big fan things, you know. I'm not a fan of watching paint dry, so <laughs> I just slap it up on the wall and let it let it be, let it be. I just let it be. Well, watching it dry is pretty good because it does change color, Mm-mm. you know. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I think the only good thing about golf and football on TV is sometimes you get some ass shot. Oh, you do. Something. And let me tell you, those pants are getting thinner. So you're getting a nice look. Well, and the golf ones are getting tighter. Hey, really? Yeah. The package is being shown, huh? I got to, before you can read the divots. We were watching. We were watching, and then I turned the movie off, right? And we were watching the regular TV, and Mikey's getting up. And there was a commercial that came on for Peroni's disease. It's a male organ disease, and they show this carrot that goes. <laughs> and my is just looking at Seriously, it. Seriously, I'll never look at a carrot again. Here is this guy standing there, looking very forlorn, and there's this stack of of carrots with this top carrot going. <laughs> and he's like. What if we come to Viagra was one thing, but this, and I never did figure out the Cialis one where they're in two separate tubs. I didn't get that either. I, I, first off, all right, that, you're right. That commercial makes absolutely zero no sense. sense to me, but I have never in my entire life run across a house in the woods on a lake with two bathtubs on the porch <laughs> facing the lake. Only, 
As a matter of fact, I've never run across a house on a lake. And I lived in Minnesota, Lynn, 10,000. <laughs> Been to lots of houses on lakes. Never run across one of them that had a bathtub. <laughs> even one bathtub, bathtub on the porch. Well, I might have one, you know. No, but not I on the porch. Mikey, you have a freaking lake. Go jump on the lake. Every time I told Mikey, I said, that's the way to have sex. You over there, me over And we'll get along super just happy. fine. Super good. Anybody want an orgasm? Her penis pebble. I'm gonna find a vagina plant. Yeah, you wait. We're going to the age yeah, wish. You never we know. Need one of those. We'll send out seeds oh, at Christmas. Man. That's a good thing we can do. We can put that on the Etsy side. Why does that go crazy? Penis pepper <laughs> seeds. Penis and vagina seeds. Anyway, oh, I drank oh whiskey. I've just gone down the rabbit hole. And That's a rabbit hole that we don't need. So, anyway, but I will never look at a stack of carrots again without this. Yeah. Mickey just thought that was like unbelievable. So, and you know what, guys? This isn't a touch screen. I remember. Not. The only reason I remember is because I suddenly remembered. I would have touched the red button, but I didn't. So, see you next week. Enjoy your football. Stay safe. Stay warm. And. Oh, Dry. happy Martin Luther King's birthday day. Because some people were off. Is that, that tomorrow? It's, it's actually celebrated tomorrow, but it's Tuesday. Yeah. It's a, big, it's a holiday. So, cool. So, if you have a day off, sit back, relax. Enjoy your three-day weekend. Yep. Have yep. fun. Talk to you later. Wait, I got to get it on there.